Hi there, welcome back. This time in DaVinci Resolve 17, we will create a genie effect using Fusion tools and save as transition macro templates for reuse in the edit page. In this timeline, I have two clips aligned on top of a four color background clip. Go to the effects library, from the Video Transitions panel, drag the Cross Dissolve Fusion transition to the beginning of the first clip. Right-click the transition and choose Open in Fusion page. There are two media in nodes in the node editor, which represents the two clips used in a transition. Media in 1 is the outgoing clip and Media in 2 is the incoming clip. Select the Cross Dissolve group, press Delete to delete the group. Select Media in 2 node, click the Transform button in the toolbar, and a new Transform node is added and connected to the Media in node automatically. While the Transform node is still selected, press Shift Space to open the Tool Selection window. Find and add a Grid Warp node to the Node Editor after the Transform node. Drag the Grid Warp's output and merge with the output of the Media in 1 node. Select the Grid Warp node and go to the Inspector. Change the Magnet Type to a Selected. Set both X and Y Grid Size to 1. Go to the Viewer, drag the bottom two corner points to modify the grid shape. So the image looks like it is being vacuumed. You may have noticed that the curve is not smooth, that's because of the lack of subdivisions. Go to the Inspector and increase the subdivisions to 5, now we have a smooth curve. Next we will animate the image, so that the image comes into the view from the bottom. Select the Transform node, and move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. Move the image down until it's off the screen. In the Inspector, click the keyframe icon to mark a keyframe for center parameter. Go to frame 18. Move the image up, so that the bottom is a bit above the bottom edge of the screen. This creates a new keyframe for the transform center parameter. While we are still at frame 18, select the Grid Warp node. In the Inspector, click the keyframe icon to enable keyframes for the mesh animation. Move the playhead to the end of the clip. Drag and move the bottom points back to their initial positions. Select all the points. Press Shift L to set the curve mode the linear. This will reset the image back to normal. And we see that another keyframe is added to mesh animation. Select Transform node, make sure the playhead is still at frame 29, the end of the clip. Change the center Y to 0.5, so that the clip is fully displayed inside the screen. Play the clip, we now have a cool genie style transition to reveal the image. We can also add a drop shadow to the image, so it stands out. Select the Grid Warp node, Press Shift Space to open the Tool Selection, Find and add a Drop Shadow node. Great, now we have the shadow, and the transition looks better. As we are creating a custom transition template for use in the Edit page, we want the animation duration to be adjusted automatically when we change the transition duration in the timeline. To do this, Shift Space to open Tool Selection, Find and add a keyframe stretcher node after the drop shadow. With the keyframe stretcher selected, go to the inspector. Change the source end to 30. Stretch start to 0. Stretch end to 30. That's it, we have done the fusion composition of a genie transition. If needed, you can spend some more time to adjust the grid shape keyframes and curves to get a transition to your liking. When saving the composition as a transition macro template, it's important to first select the nodes connected the outgoing clip, media in one. In this case, we select merge one node first, 
and shift drag to select the others. Once all nodes are selected, right click one of the selected nodes, choose Macro. Create Macro. In the Macro Editor window, name the macro Essential Genie Transition In. Check the motion blur and quality parameters from Transform node. Also check the shadow strength to allow a quick control of the shadow display. Include the destination grid change so that we can adjust the shape in the edit page. Open the file menu and select Save As Group. Save to Folder Fusion. Templates. Edit. Transitions. Essential Transitions. Close the macro editor and go back to the edit page. Go to the Essential Transitions folder, drag and apply the new Genie transition between first and second clip. We can drag the edge to extend the duration if needed. Go to the Transition tab in the Inspector, we can enable the Motion Blur and adjust the quality to get a more realistic transition. Or change the shadow strength to hide the shadow. If we turn on the Fusion on Screen Control Overlay, we can change the position where the image comes out. In the Inspector, click this left arrow to move the playhead to the starting keyframe. Go to the viewer, click and select one of the two points at the bottom, control click the other one so that both points are selected. Drag them to the new position, use the point control handles to adjust the shape. Once we are happy with the new position and shape, play the timeline. We now have the genie transition reveal the image from the new place. If we need more advanced control, we can click the Fusion button here, or right-click the transition in the timeline to open and edit the Fusion composition in the Fusion page. We now have a Genie animation that reveals the image. Next we will create a reverse Genie animation to transition out the image. In the timeline, select the transition at the beginning of the first clip, which is the one we used earlier. Right-click and open it in the Fusion page. Click the Spline button to open the Spline Editor panel. Select the Transform node and check the displacement in the Spline Editor to show the keyframe curve. Press Ctrl A to select all control points. Press V or click the Reverse button to reverse the keyframes. Select the Grid Warp node and enable the grid change to display the keyframe spline. Drag and select both points. Press V or click the reverse button to reverse the keyframes. Move the keyframes to the beginning of the clip at frame zero. All right, now we have the genie animation that extracts the image from the screen. Since this is the out transition, the image being extracted is the outgoing clip. Make sure to select the Transform node first when we create the transition macro. In the Macro Editor window, name the transition Essential Genie Transition Out. As we did earlier, check the parameters we want to export for controls in the inspector. Save the Macro As group into Folder Fusion. Templates. Edit. Transitions. Essential Transitions Now go to the Edit page, we can see that the new Transition Out template appears in the Essential Transitions folder. Apply it to the end of the second clip. And we get this nice Genie Effect animation that transitions out the image from the screen. Alright, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.